When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to botanical gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. Me, this is safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business, or perhaps died while we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it, going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me, the way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Well guys, welcome to Metro Last Light. Redux, the second game in the trilogy, just wrapped up Metro 2033, moving on on the road to Exodus with Metro Last Light. Um, as you can hear, I got my mic, been messing around on this first mission a couple times just to try to get the audio right, I think I've done it, so we're just gonna start with a new game, Survival. Normal for sure. Metro 2033 was a hard game. I mean, I play first person shooters, but the survival horror aspect of it, that definitely got me. Bump up the brightness because I'm a little blind. The dark ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The dark ones, huge towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. That's all lies. Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? Shit! 
Shit! Shit! What's going on here? Hell. Messing with my mind. Tall, dark, and handsome. Just blew Artyom, up my mind. Up, it's me, come. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's Hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan, how the hell did you get here? Get out, now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe for a tiny hole in his throat. Hmm. But don't let me stop you, good old lighter. Well, here we are. Starting off in our new room, just like the last game. Here, RTM. Some pictures of the outside. Or the surface, not the outside, I guess. Before the... Before the end of the world. Um, <clears throat> PUBG helmet. Gotta turn off my lights. Lighter. Journal. Guys got a lot of guns. This guy's rocking out. He's got some nice posters too. Get it, buddy. Привет, Артём. Артём was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a Ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, it's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? I suppose it's nice down here since they got the reactor working. The lights, the heat, the natural. But still, it doesn't feel right. Still. Like, like, it's too damn good, you know? Did you hear what happened to This is crazy. Come on, you have five more deaths of 30. Look at those two rookies. Pathetic. Doing good. No wonder the colonel ordered the training time double. You're shitting me. The rest of the group? Wiped out? The marshes are easy. You just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. Well, okay. Huh. His voice sounds familiar. We look at another guitar. Get some guns. Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. 
Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Maybe you can give me a couple extra then. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Some extra of those two would be great. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Thanks for telling me how to use my money. Haha, <laughs> alright. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up the three weapons of Tom. We're gonna do the Kalash. Gonna put a scope on it. And we're gonna put the silencer on it. This gun right here, the Abzats, or however you say it, Abzats. This gun's crazy. Then the valve. Add a scope to that. Hey, Artyom, what on the show for me, huh? Try out the rest of the weapons you chose. Try shooting for the center of the ring. Good shot! Now, armor double. Notice the difference? Take more bullets to penetrate that armor. Look for sparks to know when you are shooting an armor target. Try a headshot. That's a critical hit. Notice the difference? Those are the basics. You can keep practicing if you want, or head on up to the next Fire! Unlock! Weapons down! We're gonna get irradiated here for damn sure. Miller's calling the group leaders in. There's going to be a big ascent. So, you're an expert. Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates! Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check with the guards at the lab. Shit. What the hell did he do? Syria! Opening up! All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold stuff, <clears throat> and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly. Killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey! I heard that Lesnitsky did something! What happened? Nobody knows! Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit! So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. He must not have it. He said, "Maybe me some other right, shit. Let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. Man, this is crazy. It's cool that they're able to use this old Miso silo as the new base. The ultimate base. That's what it looks like, the ultimate base. <clears throat> That's what that guy was worried about. It's too good to be true. Come on, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller.
The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wire. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes. People died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, Khan, you have something to report? Yes, Khan. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Khan, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Orders ever faced. Khan, just... Give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Orders' job! Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. Now on your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitz Please. Bridge, we I'm the hero of this story. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. He's he with the container. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. She's crazy. Talking about mating with the Dark Ones. What the hell? There's the notes. Prologue, page one. Page two. Page three. Note one. <clears throat> Why does she keep calling me a rabbit? I don't understand, lady. Let's go. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno. Yet Khan did find a dark one there. 
Now my mission is to find and eliminate it. To finish what I started. Hmm. Huh. One year ago. It's crazy. Nice beanie. In the past, trains were ordinary things. But now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. Who's talking? Nobody tells me what to do. Is I'll be. Watch yourself. The doors are closing. Good luck. Yeah, need it. Didn't you and my father take the monorail when we went out to fire the missiles at the Dark One's nest? That's a good sign, right? Maybe we'll have luck with this mission too. Power's working. Open the gate. I'll cover the passage. I sure hope so. I mean, it's only so hard to flip a switch when it goes one way. All clear. Move out. Let's go. They did a real good job about that in 2033 too, making sure they hit every step. Even new games don't do that. Alright, the map shows a collector entry point ahead. I remember a part in Metro 2033 where it was just a long staircase and it took forever I'm following. for us to get up because the guy went up every single step. Go right. There's a dead end on the left. Something alarmed them. Stay sharp. Shit, that thing's fast. I don't think we'll run into anything serious here. Great, the ladder. It's just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or not. Could call me a rabbit. Looks like you got ammo, but you're not showing me. There's the next note. Page one. Page two. I already picked these up, so... It looks like once I start the mission, they just kind of pop Sorry, back up. Put your mask on. Looking at my ass, it's way out of your reach, rabbit. Uh, what? Uh, was it me? Who's the guy behind me? <clears throat> Give me a hand here. Hmm, don't mind if I do. You just love that fresh air. Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. Oh, I can run. A lot of territory. Haven't been able to run this entire first part. What? Influence? Oh, I don't have your gift. So hop along, rabbit. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm 
thinking that since the Dark Ones are so fond of you, it'll sense you, or smell you, or whatever the fuck they do, and come from hiding. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay then. Good luck. She still told me good luck. After. She pretty much called me a bitch. Look at you go. Badass. It's like a wounded animal. Gotcha. survivor maybe the like Nazis still war good and morning <laughs> 